all through the Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna did touch upon it that the enlightened souls have no duties. But you, Arjun, should do work. You should not prematurely copy them. You can't even copy in the world, can you? Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 3, Karma Yoga. Verse chanting is followed by translation and commentary by Swami Mukundananda. Mai Sarvani Karmani Sanyasya Dhyatma Chetasa Nirashir Nirma Mobhutva Yudhyas Performing all works as an offering unto me, constantly meditate on me as the Supreme, become free from desire and selfishness, and with your mental grief departed, fight. After all, he is the perfect teacher, he is God, right? He knows the teaching process better than any of us. So having talked about karma and the varieties of things, now in this verse he is presenting the conclusion. So that is why Arjun, do your duty in divine consciousness, keeping all these thoughts in the mind. The world is not mine, it belongs to God. All this energy is coming from Him. I am the eternal soul. He is my eternal relative. I have my duty in accordance with my modes of nature to perform my actions, but I should do them in the spirit of sacrifice to Him. So He has present conclusion, this takeaway for all of us. And that takeaway is important. All through the Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna is again and again, he did touch upon it, that the enlightened souls have no duties. But you, Arjun, should do work. You should not prematurely copy them. You can't even copy in the world, can you? There is a professor, he teaches in college. The MSc physics class, can you copy him? How can you copy him? You don't even have college education in physics. There was Einstein, there's a joke I've heard about him. That he used to go around lecturing. You know his theories in the intellectually uh, rich environment of USA giving lectures in various universities about his theories of relativity. Now there was a driver who used to drive him to the universities. And when Einstein would give his 40-50 minute lecture, the driver would also sit in here. So now the driver had heard him over 50 universities. And he had heard it so often, he said, Mr. Einstein, what you say, I have learnt it up. I can say it myself. So Einstein said, all right, you wish to copy me? No problem. Tomorrow I have been invited to such and such Ivy League school. You become Einstein and give the lecture on my behalf. So he dressed up the driver as Einstein and Einstein sat on the driver's seat. Now when they drove up to the university, the heads of departments, professors were all standing. So Einstein got out of his driver's seat and opened the door and introduced this. He became a scientist, Albert Einstein. Those professors escorted him to their seminar hall, up onto the lecture podium. And this driver, summing up all his courage, gave the full lecture. But the driver forgot. At the end, there's a question-answer session. <laughs> so,
So when he completed one, head of department raised his hand. He said, Mr. Einstein, you know, you said that, but in accordance with that law, if you do a polar integration and then a differentiation, it doesn't conform to that model presented by that scientist. The driver started seeing stars. He said, which language is he speaking in? <laughs> the driver said, how to save my life now? He suddenly had a brain wave. He said, Sir, the question asked is so simple. It's so simple, I don't need to answer it. My driver can answer it. <laughs> now, did he copy Albert Einstein? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> so, in the same way, we need to perform actions. But we change the consciousness. We perform them in divine consciousness, in the spirit of yagya. And such yagya, the karmas that bind the soul will become karmas that liberate the soul. And they'll be satisfying to God. And by His grace then, we will receive the divine enlightenment, the divine knowledge, the divine bliss. And we will progress on this path. And when we become enlightened, we will also have the choice. Either you renounce everything and become a renunciant or to present a proper role model for the world. You still continue your doing your duties in worldly life. That will be your choice at that stage.